And welcome back. It is a problem that puts new moms at risk of hospital readmission and in some cases, stroke. Postpartum hypertension is something that affects approximately 20% of mothers. But a new study being conducted by UW Health is showing great promise in controlling postpartum hypertension. In a story you will only see on News 3, Dave Delosier shows us how technology is being used to ensure the health of women. He's doing great. Yeah, he's perfect. Perfect. It might just be the perfect word to describe CJ. But for Sarah Riffle, a first-time mom, pregnancy wasn't without an issue. It wasn't until the last few weeks of pregnancy where my blood pressure started to, to rise. Doctors were able to control it, and CJ was born without a problem. But it is when moms like Sarah go home that postpartum hypertension puts their health at risk. And then they have a new baby, and it's complicated at home. So how do we... Um, Make sure that they feel comfortable, that they're safe, that they're being monitored. To answer that, Dr. Kara Hoppy created a study that includes Sarah. Please attach the blood pressure cuff. For six weeks, every single day, her vital signs are monitored, and the information is sent via Bluetooth-enabled equipment to nurses. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. And if you want to know how important this is, Sarah found out on her very first day home. I checked my blood pressure, and it was the highest I've ever seen a blood pressure before and I got really scared so I called my one of my physicians on call they helped me get started on medications right away I'm looking at your blood pressures today so having a doctor or nurse just a video chat or phone call away helps treat the high blood pressure quicker and prevents hospital readmissions nationwide uh, hospital readmissions are going up uh, postpartum and one of those number one reasons for that is hypertension. Postpartum hypertension also puts a mom at significant risk of stroke and in some cases death. So far, the study numbers tell an important story. And we have over 100 patients um, at this point and we still have zero, zero percent hospital readmissions in uh, the women using telehealth for home blood pressure monitoring postpartum. And it was really scary, but having that person there to talk to and to manage everything for me was my lifeline. And this is also graduation day for you. Did you know that? Yes. You know that? And that is the point of all this. By using technology, they are able to keep a mom safe by monitoring her health while at home. <laughs> keep her there by treating a problem before it results in hospital readmission. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Sarah. And it keeps her where she really wants to be. So I think making patients feel safe, empowered, and that they are able to remain home with their baby and um, perform the care and bonding that they want with their baby is absolutely what motivates me. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Are you looking up now? The telehealth postpartum hypertension study is funded through the end of this year, and Dr. Hoppy hopes to continue it into next year. It is showing great success in protecting the health of women and preventing hospital readmissions. And if you want to look at it from a healthcare cost perspective, it is both cost effective and has shown cost savings as well.